You're watching Sound Off Sports. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sound Off Sports. Mike Davis here at the Courtyard Super Bowl Sleepover Suite inside Allegiant Stadium. I'm here with AP Offensive Rookie of the Year finalist, the great Bijan <laughs> Robinson. Bijan, great to be with you, man. Yeah, man. Nice to be here. Let's talk about this. A lot of stuff going on in the offseason with you guys in Atlanta. Um, yeah. I know you're a running back. You're really positionless. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit. But you got a new head coach, a new offensive coordinator, Zach Robinson and mm -hmm. Raheem Morris. You went to Twitter after the news. You said, praise God. <laughs> now let's rock. That's right. Tell me why are you so excited about this? Yeah, man. I mean, even just after you got hired, um, you know, we talked on the phone, like, what, 15 minutes later, uh, really? me and Raheem, and, you know, just the energy that he, that he gave off and that I felt like, I mean, I, I was ready to go uh, already. And, you know, I could tell that, you know, he's just an amazing dude. Um, and then obviously he, he's an amazing player coach and, you know, all the players that he's, that he's coached love him. And I know that this is like his chance to, to really show what he can do as a head coach. And, you know, him and, him and my coach, Coach Sark, back in college, yeah. you know, they're best friends uh, to this day. So, you know, Coach Sark called me, like, right after that, and he said, you know, you guys hit the home run on this one. See? So, you know, I think it's just such a, a, a godly moment, and that's why I went to Twitter and, and you know, said what I said because, you know, I really do believe that. And now let's just be upfront and honest because, I mean, I think a lot of people, you were a five-star recruit out of high school, three years at UT Austin. Everybody had so much hope for you coming to the NFL. And I think making that leap, it's such a hard thing to do, but you really showcased why you're such a phenom. I mean, 976 yards rushing, four TDs, four TDs through the air, almost 500 yards receiving. But I think a lot of, you know, football fans like me were like, why is Arthur Smith not giving Bijan the ball? <laughs> Only 41% of Atlanta's carries isn't good enough, I think, for the eighth pick in the NFL draft. When you're going through those things, does you feel those things and how do you deal with that throughout the course of the season or how do you handle those types of emotions? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you know, he has a plan for me. You know, he had a plan for me of just the timing of what I needed. And, you know, he wasn't just trying to, you know, throw, throw everything at me immediately. Like he wanted me to, you know, he understood I'm a rookie and he wanted me to get, you know, comfortable with the game and understand that, you know, this game, you know, mentally is what's was most important. So just him just trying to get me in the best position, in the best position possible uh, for myself. Like that was more of his plan. I know like, you know, people were upset, but you know, he, he had that plan for, for the whole time. Um, but it really did t teach me a lot, you know, especially for last season, like right. it taught me, you know, patience. It taught me how to, you know, do things on the field, um, different ways. And, pass protection, learning schemes, learning route schemes, and just doing so many different things like that yeah. um, to prepare me for, you know, obviously the, the second year that, that I'm in the league. So, you know, it, it was all, you know, the timing of everything. And, and I think you, sh you showcase so much maturity and, yeah. um, you know, throughout the season as, you know, a member of this team. But let's talk about how you really are positionless because mm -hmm. one of your idols growing up is Reggie Bush, LT, LaDamian Tomlinson, Hall of Famer, no Earl Campbell, uh, another Hall of Famer, UT guy. All these guys have s such high praise for you because you're really – ushering a new prototype for the running back situation yeah. because it's about making an impact all over the field. You know, you're one of these guys who football just meant a lot to you since you were a little kid. One year old, your first haircut, you bring a football with you. Yeah. You're sneaking in a football with you to church. Right. Tell me, you've been planning and prepping for these moments for such a long time, and when you finally grace the NFL field and you do what you've always been able to do, how did it feel? What did it mean to you? And what is B. John Robinson bringing to the NFL when it comes to this positionless new era of running back. Yeah, man, I mean, it, it, it means a lot. And, you know, there's there's guys in this league that are the same way. Um, I mean, obviously, Christian McCaffrey is, is playing in the Super Bowl. Like, he, he shows, you know, so many attributes as the positionless player. Obviously, he can run the ball very well, but he can catch the ball at the backfield and, you know, do so many different things like that. Um, Alvin Kamara has been the guy, you know, for such a long time that everybody looks at as the positionless guy. Um, but for me, like, I feel like it's important to bring that, that element to the game and to be more than just a, a runner, um, but to do so many other different things in, in the offense, whether it's lining up at receiver, catching the ball at the backfield, and, you know, obviously you got to pass block, but that's right, right. a part of the position. But, you know, being, being dynamic in so many different ways, um, 
that wasn't the way that it's, that it's used to be. Um, and, and, you know, getting 40 carry, 35 carries a game and just going, you know, downhill. Uh, and obviously, like, that, that's what, you, what you're called to do, then that's, what, that's what's going to happen. But, you know, I feel like you can, you can maximize those touches in so many different ways. And to do it in a, in a you know, bigger, more explosive way than, than it used to be done. So I think it's, it's pretty special. And, and me bringing the ball in the church, like, I was, I was practicing the same thing, uh, <laughs> you know, at, at the altar. And, you know, now I'm doing it today. When did you first know in your heart, because there's levels to all these things, you're a five-star recruit out of Arizona, then you go to UT, right? Then you go to the NFL. There's all these different levels. When did you know in your heart, man, I can compete at this level. Like I'm the same old Bijan that I've always been, but I think there's always that doubt in your heart when you're a rookie. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this rookie class, I mean, the guys you're up against for AP Rookie of the Year, Laporta, Gibbs, Stroud, yep. Yep. I mean, yep. Puka, so many great guys, great and players, this man. was a great rookie class. We're going to remember this class for such a long time when it comes to the NFL. But when did you know in your heart, was there a moment on the field where you're like, man, it, it sinked in. I'm, I'm ready to do this, and I can, I can be the best. Yeah, man, I mean, I think it was shoot, that first game of the season. Like, obviously, I was, I was really anxious um, when I was out there, but I just felt, you know, with, with the dynamic ability, you know, I, I felt it, I showed it um, right off the bat. And... I got comfortable pretty fast, like, and not just comfortable, just like laxing, but comfortable knowing that I could, you know, go out there and, and dominate, you know, just like, you know, in college and in high school. Yeah. Um, and obviously, dudes are smarter in this league, and you know, just a little bit more faster. But when when it slows down, yeah. then then that's when you're you're maximizing your your potential. So, that I, I think it was the first game. The second game is when it really slowed down for me. Um, you know, we put the Packers and. You know, when that when I was in that game, like I was just in a different mode and locked in. See, and that's great. That, that's where that's where I found it for Yo, sure. Your phone must have been buzzing off the hook oh. <laughs> when we all know the social media video that the Atlanta Falcons posted. It was uh, like a bird's eye view right, yep, of yep, you yep, snagging view. like a, a handoff or yep. a little forward pass, uh, one handed, and you start juking. And I'm watching this on my phone, and I'm about to ju get juked out, <laughs> like in my living room, watching yes, this thing. What, what did that video make you think when you saw that? Yeah, man. I mean, it, it's it's some pretty incredible stuff. Um, you know, his, his name is Austin. That he does the the bird's eye view from from the top of the stadium. Yeah. And when I saw it, I was like, this is impossible. Like, I, I saw the one against the Packers, and I was like, this is. <laughs> insane but that one right there it was like right above me and you know I, I don't know what I did yeah um, it was some some crazy but if you had a hinge profile that would be like right at the top that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's how yeah. I would classify it a few last things here so yeah. right here I mean first of all Courtyard Marriott I've always loved them especially back in the old days my hero I know your hero was you know Reggie Bush Rich Eisen that was my hero okay. growing up. Okay. He's always been great with this brand, but there's something really special going on here because you were able to actually surprise That's right. Jametta and Chance, two major Falcons fans, and they had no clue this was going down. Give me the play-by-play -play of this moment in this uh, special uh, sleepover Super Bowl suite we're in right now. Yeah, man. So, I mean, Courtyard by Marriott, you know, they, you know, this is an awesome partnership, you know, with me and, and, and them, um, and even just, you know, how they give, give back to, to people and want the best experience for people uh, I'm the same way and you know for me I <laughs> I never seen them like in, in a picture uh, but I just knew that they're from Atlanta you know big Falcons fans and you know when I came in here like seeing their reaction seeing their face was definitely one I'll never forget uh, you know she she was like looking at me like no way this is happening <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know they're they're just so deserving of you know what Courtyard by Mary did is doing for them, and you know they they got the the ultimate experience of a lifetime in my opinion. And I mean they're gonna actually sleep, they're gonna sleep. here yeah, like they're gonna Saturday sleep. before the Super Bowl. That's pretty crazy. That's right. Like they're gonna like I I, I even told them I want to be able to go to sleep. <laughs> You're be, gonna sleep in I'll, here be, I'll be in this bed <laughs> looking out at the stadium the whole time. Um, but you know for for her to do that for him. It was really cool because even with, you know, his donation to, to shoes to so many kids and, you know, you know how he, you know, approaches that. 
Um, I think he's just so deserving of everything. And, you know, even what Corey by Marriott is doing, you know, for him and even with my foundation and donating 200 pair of shoes to, to his, you know, to his cause and to what he does, like, you know, I think it's the coolest thing in the world to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's such a blessing to, to really get to meet them for the first time and to really hear their story and, and you know, why they're here today. It's cool how it aligns with your mission and everything. Tell us real quickly, last question. I mean, what are you, 22? 22. 22 years old. How, I mean, I feel like I'm speaking to a 60 year old <laughs> right now. I mean, you're so mature beyond your years. You already got the foundation stuff going on. You already got a Dijon mustard brand it called Bijan Mustardson. That was the name of my fantasy football team this year. Really? By the way, I drafted you. Let's early. go. Let's go. Um, uh, we're going to begin uh, this year. Tell us about this. I mean, I wish we had some soft pretzels here. And some, I mean, <laughs> I, w I, want, I want the sauce here, but tell us, give us a quick pitch. Let's do, let's do like a commercial pitch of Bijan Mustardson. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just like. It's the greatest mustard that you'll ever grace in your hands. And then it will break your mouth's ankles. Understand that. And then on top of that, a lot of people don't like mustard, yeah. but this mustard right here is like, it's like love. I mean, it's better than ketchup, better than ranch, better than it all. And this is the best condiment you'll ever have because you'll eat it and you'll smile and you'll just be happy that you have it. And you'll look at the bottle and then I'm smiling at you. So you have no choice but to smile back at me. So wow. there you go. I didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to eat it. The great That's right. Bijan Robinson, man. thank you so much for everything, guys. Yeah, man. This is what it's all about. Super Bowl here in Vegas, and we're hanging out here at the Courtyard. Marriott, Super Bowl sleepover suite. It's amazing stuff.